the suppression and the censorship that many of these online independent voices have been facing recently. Uh, I just had Richard Medhurst on, who's been demonetized. Others have been demonetized. Here's an interesting one, though. Instagram says they're sorry for adding terrorist to many Palestinian user bios. Literally, Palestinian user bios, some of them, were being auto-translated and, in, and Instagram was automatically throwing in the word terrorist into their bios. It was an accident. We were just, what? We, sometimes when you translate stuff from Palestinians, it just, terrorist just seems to pop up. What can we do? Meta, which also owns Facebook, as you know, has apologized for adding terrorists to the biographies of some Instagram users describing themselves as Palestinian. Meta said it fixed the problem. Oh, what a glitch. What an interesting glitch to have there that briefly caused inappropriate Arabic translations. We sincerely apologize that this happened. The platform has also faced accusations of suppressing content, voicing support for Palestinians during the Israel-Gaza conflict. Some users say they've been shadow banned. And see, that's the brilliance of shadow banning, as I've been shadow banned on just about every platform. I mean, even if you're watching me right now on my YouTube or on my Facebook, you are one of the few who got an alert. Uh, most people do not. Most people are not shown the stuff I put up. Uh, but this is the brilliance of shadow banning is, as this article says, some people claim they've been shadow banned. See how they can just dodge the actual reality that they are covering up entire uh, viewpoints, which happen to be the truth, that they are covering up entire uh, areas of thought and discussion. And you can't prove it because we can't see inside the algorithm. So therefore, me, when I say, hey, isn't that funny that since 2016, when I was gaining 5,000 followers a week on Facebook, I now haven't gained a follower ever since? Isn't that interesting? And then they'll go, well, Lee Camp claims he's been shadow banned. And yeah, I, I feel like there might be something up, but that's the, that's the key to shadow banning is that they can always say, well, we don't have any proof of that. Um, some users say they've been shadow banned on Instagram over pro-Palestinian posts. This is when a platform, uh, we don't need the definition. The users claim 24 hour posts on stories referencing the conflict have had fewer views than others. The, check, the tech giant acknowledged a bug had affected stories, but said it had nothing to do with the subject matter. <laughs> Don't you love their bullshit when they just sling it at you like that? So you have this suppression. You have many corporations and, you know, the, the some of the largest, most powerful corporate entities in the world are also falling all over themselves to say they support Israel, to say they support the bombing of babies, the bombing of children, the bombing of innocent men and women on a seemingly endless cycle. They are falling all over themselves to support those things and to endorse that. 